guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be what is on my iphone xs max i have seen so many of these videos on youtube i always thought they were super enjoyable to watch so i thought it would be really fun to film one today so on my home page i don't really have anything exciting other than the apps that i normally use snapchat instagram facebook twitter you also might be a little surprised that i have 21,817 emails but i never look at my emails through apple's email app i have my own gmail app that i do use moving on to my next page i just organized my phone before filming this video i still have a lot of organizing to do i still have a lot of apps to delete that i don't use anymore this is a lot better than it was i previously had about eight pages of apps on my phone so my screensaver is my two kittens my two cats had two kittens a little over a year ago i miss them like crazy they did go to a good home but it's still really hard i have not changed the screensaver in over a year my radar is a fantastic app for weather and emergency alerts so i use this one as well as the apple one i then have my education folder this basically just has keynote and pages and stuff that i really don't use but I think, oh, maybe someday I will, so I keep them in there just in case. My next app is my shopping app. Unidays is a fantastic app for students. They offer student discounts. For example, here is a 20% off coupon for when you're shopping in store at American Eagle. And the cashier can scan this right at the register when you're checking out. And they also have scholarships and contests, which is really, really cool. I like to keep my Sephora and Ulta apps there just so I can keep track of all of my points. Dote is basically just an online shopping mall shop all of your favorite stores you could live stream while you're shopping and you could shop with your followers they also have a daily check-in bonus you could redeem your coins to win prizes i just hit free shipping american eagle i keep this app on here all the time i do work for american eagle and airy this is one of the apps that i am on most often because i am constantly shopping my next folder is my finance folder i just have paypal in here two apps for work i have wells fargo which is just my banking this is my photo and video folder. The first thing I have is Planoly. It's an app that helps you schedule your Instagram posts, and this is gonna help you lay out your Instagram photos as well. This account allows you to upload that photo into your feed through the app to see what that photo would look like before posting it. If you are after a certain aesthetic in your account, or, you know, you're just looking to get a color scheme going, I would definitely download this app. The next app that I have is called Unfold. Unfold is an app that I use for every single Instagram story that is aesthetically pleasing. They have so many templates that you could choose from. You could download some, you could buy some. I just buy them straight out. They tend to be like 99 cents a pack up to like $1.99. One of the only apps that I actually do put money into. I can press this template. You could choose from your photo gallery or Unsplash. Unsplash has a ton of photos that are free to use. You could search anything that you want. So if I wanted to create something aesthetically pleasing, I could just choose my photos like so and insert them into the app. You could also move them around. You can do whatever you'd like. I've done this many, many times before. In my stories, if I was just looking for something really pretty to post, they help you achieve that creative Instagram story. You can also add text to your photo. So if I just put my name, you can change the font as well. You could save it right to your device or you could just go right to Instagram. The next app that I have in my folder is Facetune 2. I have regular Facetune on the next slide. I use it for a lot of different tricks. I will show you guys that when I show you how I edit my Instagram photo. Fonto is just a font app so you can just add font to your photos. Lightroom is a fantastic photo editing app. It is one of my favorite actually. Of course I have Visco. Who wouldn't have Visco? <laughs> DJI Mimo is for my DJI Osmo Pocket camera. This thing is fantastic. This camera stabilizes itself. It's very, very little. It's lightweight. It's very, very cool. This was a gift from my dad. I absolutely love this thing. I filmed my entire New York City vlog on this. It's small and it's compact. I would definitely look into getting this one. This app just allows me to connect my camera to my phone. The next app I have is Canva. This is another text app that I use. Canva is also a fantastic app for putting text over your photos, creating really nice Instagram stories. Over is basically the same thing. I use Canva more than I use Over, but they're both great apps. Eraser is just something that I use if I wanted to create a transparent background in an image. So Eraser just helps me erase the backgrounds of photos that I don't want. If I had a 
picture of a cartoon banana and the background was pink or something, this will help me create a transparent background. So it would just be a banana and not a banana with a background. QuickShot has special effects for photos. If you wanted to add in a lens flare, if you wanted to change the sky, you can do that as well. A lot of them look fake, but some of them look pretty realistic. A lot of the filters are really nice too. Fuji's really cool because they add a timestamp at the bottom of your photos. Every photo is gonna turn out a little bit different, just like an instant camera. Snapseed is one of my all-time favorite editing apps. There's so many great tools on this. This is one that I use while I edit my Instagram photos, so I'll get into that after, and I will show you guys all my little tips and tricks on using this app. I then have my entertainment folder. I have everything from YouTube in here to my Airbnb. I just have Today's Ticks, which is a great app if you're into Broadway shows. I've only seen one Broadway show. I keep it on here just in case I'm in the mood to see a Broadway show and I want to get cheap tickets. I have Ticketmaster on here. YouTube Studio just allows me to see all the analytics of my channel and how my videos are doing. Messenger is just for Facebook. Pinterest is fantastic. I find a lot of inspiration for photos and decorations on there. I was a Spotify gal, but then I switched to Apple Music. I absolutely love Apple Music. So if I'm ever in the mood to look at my old playlists and listen to some throwbacks, um, I'll go to my Spotify playlists. I also have Fender Play and Fender Tune. Fender Tune, it's a guitar tuner app, and then Fender Play is where I take all of my guitar lessons. I keep GarageBand on here if I ever want to mess around and pretend I know how to make music. In my games folder, I have everything in here from like Candy Crush to the Kardashian game, I'm not even kidding. And then of course Fortnite. Fortnite, I love, I'm obsessed with Fortnite. I have Postmates, Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash, everything. All of the food delivering services, you never know when you're gonna need them all. I have my Poshmark and my Depop. I do sell stuff on there. I'll put my usernames for those accounts down below. That is it for my apps. Now I wanna show you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. So the first thing I do is go under the original Facetune. This is the completely unedited version. Obviously you can see that the background isn't as pretty, it's not as clean and aesthetically pleasing as I would like it to be for my account. So the first thing I do is press that whiten button. Whitening effect is used for whitening and brightening anything that you really want. I like to go in with this and whiten the crap out of the wall. I will just turn this ugly dingy wall into an aesthetically pleasing Instagram worthy wall. It also allows you to zoom in so you can get really detailed and close when you are editing. That's one of the reasons why I love Facetune so much. I finished writing that photo. I'm gonna go under my photo and video and I'm gonna open up Snapseed. Snapseed, like I said, is one of my favorite photo editing apps. The first thing I'm gonna do is press tools and I'm gonna press tune image. I'm just gonna brighten this photo up a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of contrast. The ambiance in Snapseed is one of my favorite things. It brightens up the subject so much. So the highlights I'm just gonna take up as well. The shadows I'm gonna bring down. The next thing I like to do is go under tools again. I'm gonna press the selective tool. My dad showed me this and it is a fantastic tool for brightening or darkening specific points of your picture. This was just a quick little tutorial on how I edit my Instagram photos. If you guys wanted another video a little bit more in depth explaining the photo and video apps that I use, I would love to make something like that. Just leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was so much fun to film. Let me know in the comment section down below what videos you would like to see next from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye!